Great. Good morning, everybody. Simon Gibbon here. I work for Axonabel, Secretary of the RSC's Formulation Science and Technology Group, as um, Helen said. Um, basically, um, these meetings came about because um, in, the, um, in 2015, the EPSRC, in a foresighted way, saw that um, formulation needed some fundamental research and put out a project call called um, formulation, the Future Formulation of Complex Products. Um, with a budget of about 15 million in total, um, for which they've sponsored seven quite large projects. Um, in 2017, we sort of saw these projects were going. We talked to some of the people involved, uh, particularly Colin Bain, um, and said, wouldn't it be a good idea to have a dissemination meeting? And for us, it was great because all the speakers were lined up. Um, and we set up a meeting. We had the first formulation meeting in, in Durham, or future formulation meeting in Durham in uh, 2017 um, and that was an opportunity for all of the pro projects to really talk about their plans. So each of the projects had representatives, the PIs and a number of the researchers who'd already joined them uh, who could discuss what their projects were going to do and I think it, it was obvious even at that first meeting that um, because the project had been set up, and I guess the next slide's quite a good one um, in terms of looking at the various project proposals that came through and just doing a word map as you can see, formulation certainly drops out of these word maps for the seven projects. There's lots of other things in there that aren't common between them. So we're bringing together people from a whole range of different departments, uh, a whole range of um, industrial focuses. Um, and the meeting was very productive. Uh, it actually ended with some discussion on what we call revolutionary formulation. So we got some people to come along and talk about future formulation in the broadest possible sense. And perhaps that's something we could pick up at the end of this meeting, is your thoughts on what might follow on from um, these projects and what else we should be doing in the realm of future formulation and what would revolutionary formulation look like. Um, so as I said, there was basically 15 million put into these projects. They started, um, well, the grant call was in 2015, the awards were in 2016, and the projects were well underway in 2017. Um, they're now drawing to a close. And so this meeting uh, from the second one being something about the early progress, uh, the third meeting talking about some of the substantial progress. Here we're hoping that we're, well, we're giving the researchers an opportunity to showcase uh, what the projects have delivered. Um, but in the process of that, I think like most scientific research, there are plenty of unanswered questions. So hopefully um, that will spur some of the future work we'll, we'll go on to do. Um, so this morning we have um, presentations on four of the projects, um, followed by um, a presentation by Stephanie Williams from the EPSRC, who seems to have lost an S in there, um, about um, an update on where the EPSRC and UKRI are now with um, thinking about formulation. I mean, formulation in the UK, in, in 2010, formulation was very much a Cinderella area. Um, and there was a lot of debate, and there still sometimes is, what is formulation? In, 20, in the early 2010s, um, the government, um, helped by various organisations having task forces looking at this, realised that actually formulation, as far as the UK was concerned, was part of the high-value manufacturing area, and as such should be treated more like aerospace, in a way. Um, and that's how we men managed to get things like the um, National Formulation Centre, part of one of the catapults, uh, that's very much focused on formulation. And that's on the translation bit from research to um, industry. So it was natural and built on that by the um, EPSRC setting up these future formulation of complex product tools. So it's great to go to have these meetings. And I think, you know, from here, we're looking at what they've done um, while these projects have been undergoing, but also thinking about the future. So perhaps towards the end, we'd be very keen to hear any of these ideas. Please use the chat. Uh, as Helen and, and Phil have said, the idea of these meetings is networking. We can't do that quite as well in person. So I mean, if you could at least make sure your name is um, um, recognizable on uh, chat, and we have made it so that you can individually, privately message somebody. So the, the public chat is fantastic for questions. And any thoughts you have on, you know, things that might be possible for others to build on, please put them on there publicly. But just like a meeting, if you can treat the chat like the coffee break, you know, if you want to say hello to somebody, please do so. Um, you know, obviously, 
in a respectful way, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, this is a scientific meeting. Um, so but please use the chat so we get some of the networking advantages and we'll be very interested in your feedback afterwards and in terms of things we can capture from this meeting.